So this is the start of a new job that I'm uh, going to. I went there the end of last week, but I've been ill since then, so it's, uh, it's taken me a while for me to get back to full fitness, so I'm not really there yet, but I've got so much work to catch up already. It's, it's a joy of being self-employed. So today is a bit more of a prep day. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be sheeting up the floor with some plastic sheets in. I'm gonna get my tower scaffold in there. I've got some Youngman boards as well. I might need to go and get some more, but I need to just figure out exactly what I need to have on the job today. So I'm gonna try and get it all set up and then I'm gonna figure out how the ceiling's gonna look. Um, there's been a few ideas with this ceiling um, and I just wanna make sure that the customer's happy and they know exactly what they want. So my job today is just to figure all that out. So I've almost done all of the floor now. I've just got a couple of areas I need to get. This is not the job to start back when you've just had a been off with the pulley, Tommy. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put a couple of boards in and put the ceiling in, and then they can figure out if that's how they want it to be. So there's a few areas I need to figure out exactly how it's gonna work with the boards. Um, I'll show you the area now that I'm that we're gonna test out today to see how, if that's how the customer wants it to be. So you can see we've got a flat bit there and then we're gonna have to go inwards. So I'm gonna see if that's what they want or if they want me to get rid of this ceiling that's been put in. Um, I think they wanna keep it. I think they wanna keep the flatness so they can put their lights in, but I'm gonna wait and see. Right, so I'm just gonna chuck the middle piece up now and then I'm gonna cut some insulated plasterboards for the sides and then we're gonna see how it all looks and to see if everyone's happy. some wood from my uh, merchants and now I'm gonna go and uh, go and get the the ceiling done 
Also today I'm going to be using my max lens on my GoPro for the first time so you're going to see some wider shots than you normally see today so it'll be interesting to see how much of a difference that makes to the video. Yeah, so today is just going to be a day of boarding and just trying to get as much done as possible. So this is what I did on the first day. You see I've got the lines there now. So they're going to be ideal for me working to as well. So that means I can keep a nice straight line going all the way down. And it also means that they can actually see how it's all going to look. My job today is just to board as much as I can and see how far I get. So I'm just going to quickly talk about the angles that I'm working with. So if you can see here, when I'm cutting this board here, I have to cut it at an angle just there. But not just there. There has to be one here and also i've got a bit of a lip here so what i've had to do so cut it here and i've cut the slice out here to make sure that it will all fit in nicely this one is actually quite quite a steep angle now i haven't tried this board up yet but the way i do it is i measure roughly there to here and then really you know what the angle's going to be because you want to be cutting from there to there and that's roughly where it is so that's how i get my angles and then what i do is i cut it with my saw i'll show you this a bit later on but i'm just going to get this board in first right so i've just try to get this board in now and um, the line looks good there but if you actually see here I am a bit shy because this needs to be flush so it either needs to go down so just see here it could probably go in a tiny bit at the bottom otherwise it's just gonna have a bump and it's just not gonna work as well so these are the these are the things you've got to look out for when you're boarding the ceiling. Right, so I've just taken a little bit off the bottom. Well, actually what I did was I actually just chamfered the bottom bit a bit there. And now look, now that's perfect. So, and I'm gonna have my good line. So I'll just tack this up now. But yeah, that's how I tackle doing cuts like this, right? Also, one thing to say is that once you've got the rough idea, you've actually got a template then, so you know exactly how it's all gonna work. So you're just gonna be copying the same technique all the way through, and that's what will speed it all up. Right guys, so my next board, I'm gonna go halfway here, and then I'm gonna put another piece on there. That's because that's how the cuts are working because you don't want to waste any boards because these are very expensive, these 50 mil ones. So I'm going to cut my first one to here. So what I'll do is I'm going to measure from here to there, which I know is seven, um, seven, seven centimeters. And I know that I need to cut off three centimeters there, but I'm just going to show you how I cut it now. Right, so I've got my board. So that's the straight edge. I've just cut this one to size. So what I'm gonna do now is move this out of the way. So I've got, I know it's seven. So I'm gonna mark the board. Can you see there? And I know roughly that I'm gonna be cutting it back to there, but I don't need to do that because you're not gonna be able to see it. So, so now that I've got my line, I'm gonna get my angle roughly there. So I'm actually resting it on there as I'm going along. So you've got your rough angle there. So I need to get the three off there. Now I need 
need to get my surf phone. All right, I'm just gonna have to take this paper off here because this is this is stopping it actually uh, coming through. There you go. guys I thought I'd explain how I'm going to get the angle for this area here so I know where the corner of the window is and I know where I want the edge to be so all I've done is I've run a string all the way down to the corner and basically that's going to be my mark for how I'm going to get the line how I want it to be this is the easiest way of making sure that I get the measurements right and it's also the best way of making sure that the lines are where I want them to be So I'm just having to strengthen some of the corners because there's not going to be a lot of fixings there. So, um, so what I've done to get the, the angle is I've run a level, I've got to 1200 and I've run a level all the way down so I get a mark.
All right, so this section's done. <laughs> this board's ready to go up in the morning. All right, guys, so I'm just doing a bit more this morning. I've got to cut out squares where the lights are going to be going, and the electrician's asked me to do it, so I've done it on my first board. I'm just going to do it on my second now. So I'm going to show you the easiest way of doing it. So I'm going to use my multi-tool. I'm just going to trim around, making sure that I don't... I know when I get to the board and that's when I stop pressing, basically. So that's how you get the boxes out. You just have to use your multi-tool, make sure you don't pierce the plasterboard, and then basically, I just use a chisel, basically, just to flick it out. Alright guys, so this is the end of the day, uh, I've got to finish off a bit earlier today. So I've boarded it all and I've phoned any of the tiny gaps that I've had. Um, I know a lot of you say you could have neater joints, but to be honest, they're not. They're pretty good to be fair. It's just, uh, it's easier just to put a bit of foam in it just to make sure that uh, you get a bit of extra strength in there and also it's going to make it easier for skimming later. So I'll cut all this off in the morning. Um, I'm just going to quickly clean up, get some stuff in my van and get going. But yeah, so that's the end of the progress of this one of cutting all the boards. If you do like these videos, please like and subscribe. The next part of this one will be out next week. Right, cheers guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.